All right, I'm going to bring us in with the song. See what you got. Welcome to Around Around Table. This is the episode where your favorite guests from the Wreck My Podcast get together around a round table and talk about nothing and everything. I'm here with a special guest. She shoots the thrill and plays the kill. It's Desiree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with our regular yes. guest. He shook me all night long. Cam. With just my two hands. I yeah, just, yeah. I, just just jiggled jiggled I, I didn't need to put coins in no, the motel no, I just, uh, bed. Yeah, I just jiggled He you. does dirty deeds and does them dirt cheap. It's Craiger. Frank got a poop. <laughs> He's TNT. He's dynamite. It's Joe. I'm a power load. Watch me explode. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm back in black. <laughs> I'm your host, uh, Jordan. We're here to talk the about ACDC things. References. Yeah, ACDC yeah. references. Uh, guys, so Desiree, welcome. Hello. Did you go by Des, Desi, Des, Des, Desiree? Des Everybody Bryant? calls me Des. Okay, I never Des. call myself that, though. Okay. But I respond to it. Do you prefer Desmond? No. <laughs> okay. It's actually on my list of names I don't like. Yeah, she really hated that character. I have char- a long list. That's one of them. She hated that character from Lost. That's a callback. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so wow. we wow. have uh, some girl vibes going on here now. Yeah, with yeah. Women, yeah, yeah and women vibes. No, and, and okay, and then woman now, vibes. Yeah, and that's in addition to Cam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes Craiger. See, but he's, just, he's just used to us having the uh, b- boy vibes here because we are yeah, 12. Yeah, because we are 12. I forget that people are actually act their age sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. I, I don't ever. <laughs> so that's me. That's Jordan. And that's this episode. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Actually, Craig. So guess what happened? Uh oh. What? Stephanie. We have a Stephanie shirt update. Stephanie. Her shirt is in the mail. She got so fed up that she finally said, I'll Venmo you the money. Venmo you the money. Just get it for me. So I bought it for her. It's on her way. She's going to have a shut up Craiger shirt. Ooh, yes. It's going to be amazing. Yes. And you can have a shut up Craiger shirt as well if you want to go to our Redbubble store. I was so. trying to decide. I want to get a shirt, but I I'm, I'm feel like I'd, oh, I just get them all. <laughs> Got to catch them all. Um, it wouldn't be weird my to wear, shirt. <laughs> wear my cell phone mic. No, that wouldn't be no, weird at all. that's not weird. Not weird at all. Yeah. Hey, especially when it says do. shut up. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. that looks good. Sticker. Yeah, yeah, my sticker looks good. Got a new sticker. Wow, right, my what, podcast Nickelodeon sticker. What a high quality sticker you, you could use and put on all of your everyday You could put items. it on anything you want, on a oh, laptop, could you on your body. you tell me how to get one? Yeah, so if you go to wreckmypodcast.com and click the shop our merch tab up at the top, you can go to our Redbubble store and buy whatever you want there. I want to. All right. I want to go to there. What, what were, it, what were the issues that Stephanie was having? Uh, she it. didn't want to create an account, I think. <laughs> well, honestly, <laughs> it's, pro- yeah. it's, probably just, your email. it's probably just because <laughs> yeah. she lives in the AV. You know, they, <laughs> they, got, they, they couldn't, they couldn't send it They're out like, there. Hashtag Santa Carita. <laughs> yeah. like, we don't know out there. <laughs> just rolling everyone in the AV. But it's yeah, funny, they, they don't have the internet, so they have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they got a, a, they it's got a, a bunch g- of it's a bunch of uh, yeah. <laughs> it's because she went to McDonald's and their Wi-Fi wasn't working. It was working. Okay. <laughs> they don't have a Starbucks. <laughs> I was actually I was born in Antelope Valley. I was born in Antelope uh, Valley uh, I spent hospital. I grew ex- up in Palm Desert. That explains You're an a AV lot. native. Yeah. yeah, I spent most of my college time out in the AV because my Why? cousins lived there. Because my cousins oh. lived there, so yeah. I went and hung I mean, out with them I all did, the time. I, I went to those the days. A- yep. I went to the AV fair from like when I was like eight or nine until I was like in the late teens. You were there for over ten years. Yeah, just they left me there. He was just like Mowgli being like raised by Coyote. Pretty fun, much. Fun fact, Craiger, I was there too. How did we miss each other? Because it's a big place and there's many days. Yeah, but that's a lot of time to spend in one place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. You yeah. want to move in? Uh, let's go into our Let's hit that for a second. Let's hit that for a second. So, guys, would you rather yes. live permanently in a roller coaster park or in a zoo? Zoo. Well, were we not just talking about? <laughs> were we talking about this? About Craiger staying at AV Fair for ten years? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much a zoo. Uh, no, so you guys would pick a zoo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why would you pick a zoo? Because animals. Yeah, basically. Because I watched the zookeeper's wife, and she has best friend animals, and I want best friend animals. There you go. That's a really good answer. That's that is really a good it. answer. Uh, mine is because I don't like roller coasters, and they're oh, la- yeah. they're way louder, and like I would much rather True. listen to like spider monkeys screaming and lions roaring occasionally than just like the constant running of that That's big true. machinery. That's true. True. Craig, True. you've been quiet over there. What's been going on? Um, I didn't listen to the question. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's why you have the cock. <laughs> okay. It's so a nice guy. Would you rather permanently live 
in a roller coaster park or in a zoo? Wait, can you say that again? Because I wasn't listening. Would you rather <laughs> permanently live in my butt? <laughs> yes, yes. No other option. <laughs> Depends on what the garden situation Depends is. Depends? The garden? The, uh, like, uh, like, lawn, uh, the... Your manscaping. Yeah, there you go. But I was trying to think like <laughs> yeah. the actual like See? term for We're like We're talking garden. about Jordan's anus garden. Yeah, yet we still or... insist on having sours. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Wait, is that your first I try? I took my this? first sip of that and that made me pucker. My <laughs> lip, that, this I have, is delicious. I have yeah, tingly like in my it. cheeks right now. So good. Beer. We'll talk about that in a yeah, sec. That's so next is segment. everyone saying zoo? Yes. Um, yes. If you had to permanently live there, absolutely zoo because I have a uh, deep respect of heights. Oh, okay. So yes. you don't want to be in the roller coaster. <laughs> See, here's the thing. You guys are saying you don't want to live in the roller coaster park because you don't like roller coasters. I don't like roller I coasters roller either. Coaster. But oh, you, you don't, don't have to be on the roller coaster. You yeah, have but to you hear can... them and the people and the gum and the food and the trash. Yeah, you, have okay. to, you have to hear all of the gum. <laughs> <laughs> chewing is loud. Yeah, yeah. Gum is so, so yeah. annoying. No, I, you I'm, know I can't stand chewing. Don't, don't put that evil on me. It also depends. Are we talking Magic Mountain? Are we talking like, like Universal Studios? <laughs> We're going to talk like a We're talking Magic Mountain. Because Magic Mountain is kind of dirty. If it was Saying yeah. all the trash. If it was Disneyland, I would definitely yeah. pay attention. Yeah, animal dung to deal with yeah. the yeah. smell. I would fall asleep I, I, in the petting zoo just to be surrounded by goats oh, and alpacas. Oh, all the little baby animals. Yep. No. And the, oh, yes. Cam, it's, it's, if it's, you stayed at Disneyland, at Disneyland, you could be with all the feral cats. Oh, I could. I would love that. I also uh, used to go like uh, Sorry, cat Eric. searching there. And one time I was in line for... Uh, Thunder Mountain Railroad, and there was a kitty there, and I named him George. So George <laughs> oh, is still there. Nice. Wow. What were we going to say, Craig? Um, it's Raise uh, your hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty easy. Al's your Speaking boy. of George, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's curious that you're such an ass. <laughs> hey, that's, um, don't speak ill of George. Yeah, George is great. I want to hear what Craig's got to say. <laughs> um, you're, so you're saying we just have to live there. We don't have to deal with any of like the upkeep or work no. or anything like that. It's nope. easy. Hang out with the animals. Have your own section where you don't have to deal with the smell, and you get to hang out with animals all day. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and here's you, the thing: you can kidnap people and relive the movie you got, Split. You got milk. You got burgers. <laughs> I was just gonna say a limited supply of burgers. What animal <laughs> are you? <laughs> your own milk. Get what your... animal are you milking at the zoo? That is the real cow. Goats. I just. What zoo are you going okay, to? Okay, so I've never, I, I've never been to the LA oh, yeah, Zoo. You can milk a goat, the yeah. zoo I always have gone to <laughs> because you know it's so close is the Milwaukee Zoo. Oh, obviously. Over in Wisconsin, they have cows. They do have. They have a whole dairy area where it's just cows. Why and don't they, they just call it dairy? Dairy. <laughs> and they make their own ice cream there. Talking about small batch ice cream, they make their own ice cream there, and it's delicious. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, it's straight from the source. Straight, straight, from, straight from, from the cow source. Yeah, yeah. Right from the so date. They let you just like waddle up under the udder and just right into the mouth. Yes. Uh, so it's utterly you know. delicious. <laughs> if I lived at a zoo, my best friend would be a fancy panda. Yes. Which is a, uh, a panda. call to our Patreon episode. Yeah. So. yeah, if you want to hear about a fancy panda, <laughs> <laughs> go and pay us a dollar a month. <laughs> Um, okay, guys, I think we all agree a zoo. I a mean, zoo. that wasn't a hard one. I thought maybe someone would have a reason why they want to be in a roller coaster park. Like, someone's like, ah, oh. like, I thought Joe would be like, I love roller coasters so much that I want to be vomiting all the time. I don't vomit on roller coasters. Oh, well, you should. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do love roller coasters, so though, but not 24 7. Let's move into this next segment because I got a lot to talk about this beer. <laughs> So we have a beer to review this week. Yeah, we do. Oh, hey, Des, how you doing down there? Great. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> all you want is beer for I breakfast like and then barbecue. I don't have enough knowledge on beer to like adequately. You can just say if you like it. Just yeah, just say whether you like yeah. it or not. Uh, don't worry, I bring the knowledge sometimes. Perfect. Uh, so the beer we're drinking, I bring the funk. Is <laughs> I bring the power. I drink beer. <laughs> Cam, what do you bring? The sexy. And I try. I try. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the okayest. <laughs> yeah. So every time I take a sip of this beer, the first sip made me pucker really hard. Uh, that's not a sexual thing. That's An just what my mouth does. Those are anus lips. Yeah. And uh, it was only the first sip that did that to me. Every sip afterwards, not so bad. So this is Angel City Brewing Company. Right down in the Arts District of Los Angeles. Super the cool. Arch District. Arch, 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 where? Arch, where? You know, the Arch where? District. The okay, arch. Eric. You know, what's, <laughs> you know what's really bad is that I already have the nose thing where I can't speak, and we're not even an hour into this podcast yet. Like, yeah. what the heck like, is going on with me? 30 minutes in. Yeah. I'm like, what? Because it's Saturday. You haven't recorded. It's Saturday. I haven't been talking a lot today. Wow. Okay. So let's start this over, guys. Let me let me get a handle on this podcast. Welcome to Wreck My Podcast. Welcome, so around the round, round, round table. I'm we here talk with my about guests. everything yeah. and nothing. Um, <laughs> so this is from Angel City Brewing Company. 
They have a really cool building in the Arts District of Los Angeles. The building they moved into in 2010. It looks kind of like uh, industrial, like they were building masonry or something it's like there. A warehouse. It's like a warehouse. It's actually one like, of the oldest buildings in Los Angeles. Is it? I know somebody that used to work there, and wow. so I've been there. It's actually one of an, a really old building. They're taking a lot of the old buildings and creating breweries That's out of them because so hipsters. Cool. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> of course. Hipsters. The brewery yeah. itself is actually like gigantic. It's too. huge. Yeah. The building is huge, and it has an upstairs area now it's that you so can cool. sit and in. And all it's the super art cool. that they sell, like all yeah. the art, the art's really, really cool. The art area is so cool. It's so big. They have a whole section devoted just to uh art oh uh, cornhole. Well, art, cornhole that's like inside yeah. the building oh that's awesome that's just way off in the corner have you never nice. been there cam no this will be your first time going yeah. on wednesday and yeah they have really it's good so food cool. outside they sell tacos yes. often that are like mm. yeah mm-hmm. and wo- uh wood fire pizza or stuff like that stone fire uh so like they bring in like this crazy oven sometimes it's a like wood one, fire a oven? wood fire oven yes yeah. that's what it is and they make awesome pizza there sometimes and for- <laughs> what kind of pizza uh, wood stone oven fire wood awesome. pizza. Awesome. 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 Pizza. <laughs> awesome. And for all those Insta girls that want their picture, oh, yes. they have oh, the, the wings, wings yeah. up on oh, like, that's the, where that the is. fence. I and for, there's a couple that. of them. But okay. and for all their... That was one of the bigger first ones before yeah. okay. it was like a thing now. Well, Thanks, that's where it is. Be, Thanks, I Banksy. I become my final form in Instagram. <laughs> yes. Parking yeah. sucks though, Cam, you better do it. You better take that picture. And for all the fat boyfriends of those Insta girls, they have regular wings that you can eat. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure most Insta girlfriends don't have fat boyfriends. That's true. They probably don't. Um, so they're influencers. So this is called. <laughs> what, what if they're what if they're bad influencers though, and they just are like, nah, eat another burger. Like, <laughs> Run with scissors, kids. That was a terrible joke. I take it back. I liked it. Damn, what are you, Craig or something? Yeah. Jeez. Okay, so getting back on track here because Self-burn. we're all we're all over the tracks here. This this is going off the rail. This is going. Crazy train. Choo, um, choo. So this is called the <laughs> Sun Bather Session Sour Ale. Uh, yes, it's a lot of words. So it's 4.2% ABV, 16 Adam. IBUs. It's very, it's pretty tart, but not so tart. Like you don't get a lot of the hop. It does, it says tart and refreshing, which I believe is the perfect way to describe this beer because it is both those things. Yeah, I get way more hop on the nose than I do in the body. You can, what? Ba- you can bounce on your nose. <laughs> I get, I get, what? I get way more hop on the nose. Okay, for no, no, you, I get it. I was just guys, taking a sip. To when see. you smell it, it tastes like hops, but when you yes. taste it, it doesn't. Oh, I get it. I get way more hop on the nose than yeah. I do in the. Yeah, I, I agree. I was, I didn't answer you because you caught me. I was, I decided that was the opportune time to take another sip. <laughs> is when you <laughs> said something to me. <laughs> what is for SRM? So SRM, it, it stands for uh, Soviet Russia men. <laughs> <laughs> this can has four I, Soviet Russian think, men in I it. I honestly <laughs> think it has something to do with the gravity, or no, I think it has something to do with the malt, maybe. Uh, like the different types of malt or something. Honestly, I don't know. Why don't you look it up on your phone while I'm talking right now, and then you can <laughs> enlighten all of us. Uh, so let me read you what this beer is. It says, soak in the sour, imbibe in the hops, mm. drink in the sun, introducing Sunbather, a session sour ale dry hopped with citra hops. The result is refle- is refreshingly <laughs> tart <laughs> and juicy. It's the perfect beer to enjoy while soaking up that California sun. So those of you that don't live in California, get off my beer. Yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> This was canned in March, oh. so it's not that old. It's only no. like two months old, which is it's pretty pretty good. So what's SRM mean, Joe? SRM is the standard reference method, uh, which is what SRM stands for, is the color system used by brewers to specify finished beer and malt color. Basically, it tells you what beer style it is. So oh. like, And this one is urine. <laughs> this one does dehydrated look dehydrated urine. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, this does look urine. like a lager. It looks it, like a lager. Yeah. It, yeah, so it basically describes the color. Um, so like so what SRM would a one be? three, uh, SRM one to three is a pale yellow color similar to a lager. Okay. A SRM of fourteen to nineteen is a dark brown, and twenty or higher is black, like a porter. Or so a, stout. a four is on the lower end. Yeah. Yes. Did you okay. Just give us one to three, and then. And 14 and, and, and yes. Everything in the middle. I, I, yeah. And then he's like, oh, make up, I, make up the middle. I'm yourself. not going to go through the whole list. <laughs> I was wondering where that middle yeah. part went. So uh, this is an SRM four, which it's is cool. Interesting because there's pale yellow, medium yellow, gold, dark gold, amber, copper, red brown, brown, black. This episode sponsored by Crayola. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I don't will, eat. Them. I will say you know, I'm I'm the I'm the sour sympathizer here at the yeah, table. Yeah. I love sours more than anyone else at the table here. I don't know about Des. That's a bit presumptuous. You do. do. Okay. I like them, but that's a bit okay. like them more. Can that's presumptuous and assuming and that's wrong. Yeah, but am I wrong? Yes. You do like you sours like more, more than me? Um, maybe. You, you don't. don't. <laughs> you don't. You don't even know. That's it. Both of you guys take your shirts off. Get in the Jello bath. We're finding out right now. Who Deal, likes sour nice. more? Let's can go. we eat the, the Jello? Can with, we eat uh, the Jello? Yes. <laughs> do you know how hairy that Jello would get? I'm saying before we wrestle. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what do you think, um, Cam? About I this think beer? It, I think it's super refreshing. It's really nice. Um, not my favorite sour I've ever had. Mm. Um, but I would give it like a three on this game. Yeah. So it has <clears> a three point five on Untapped right yeah. now, and that's nine hundred seventy three people who rated it. Um, Joe, what do you think? It's for a sour. It's good. I don't like sours, mm. so I would drink this. Mm. I think it'd be excellent on a hot summer day. Mm-hmm. It's hot today, so it works for this mm-hmm. temperature and weather. So I really like it. Yep, Dad, what do you think? I'm with him. I want to be like by a beach or at a festival yeah, with this pool, beer, and something. it's refreshing. And I'm nice. yeah, I like Craiger. It. Yeah. I'm okay. Actually, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, Craiger. I'm actually really into this one. Like, I really want to like, get like, a couple six packs and take them when I go camping. Like this Dude. summer, it'd be like. Perfect. Ten around bucks the, for the six around, pack. Not around, bad price around at all. the lake. That just isn't. it would be yeah. amazing. This yeah. is a good fish and beer. Yeah. Here's the thing. I actually the the smell is. Re- Why do you want fish in your I was beer? Like, do you fish? I do fish. This um, <laughs> he's on he's on plenty it's of a fish. Good <laughs> fish and beer. Uh, uh, <laughs> different type of fish. Understand. Different type of fish. Turn. This smell of this beer is actually repulsive to me, but the taste is really good. I don't like the smell. Does anyone else think it smells like a weird mixture of uh, grass and sausage? <laughs> I don't get not getting any sausage. I'm getting really grass, grass and like, sausage uh-huh, yeah. a little bit. It like, smells like a lot of beer to me. Really? See, it it tastes <clears> delicious. Yeah. I'm gonna say it right now. Hey, hey, uh, Lori, <laughs> Robbie and Lori. I was at Lori and Robin. <laughs> Robbie and Lori. Uh, uh, <laughs> guys, sour that I like. I actually do enjoy this beer a lot. Um, so the brew interviews, you're turning me on to sour ales. Thank you very much. And the brew interviews, you are just turning me on. Yes. Speaking of beer, have you seen? <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> have you seen else. that spa that lets you? Like soak in a tub of beer. What? No. What does it do for you? What are the benefits? You get drunk real <laughs> fast. <laughs> no, no, no. I just saw it on you Facebook and in. I was like, Sign me up. All interesting. I, all I know is, is if it's like they they change out the beer every time. Like I get to watch them pour fresh beer in there. Then I totally get in there and just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, do you have any like problem hashtag problems or story time stuff? Uh, I do. Okay. I, I think so. I should have asked this before. <laughs> he, he's okay. He's okay. We just come back. I feel bad for you, son. I've got nine nine problems in the bitch and one. Yeah. So we're here to talk about problems. I think Cam has a problem, right? Yeah, I do. Uh, or do you have a story time? Or I is have, it a mix of both? I have a problem. Um as listeners know, last week I complained about my neighbors who parked their truck in front of my garage. Yes. Uh, hasn't stopped. And Krager was there yesterday. Yeah, I feel a little bit responsible And for this. Uh, uh, they were parked there again. And I backed out. And guess um, whose uh, trailer hitch hit my car? Oh, no. Not mine. Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> so their trailer hitch hit your car? Yep. Yep. Wait so a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You were backing out, so, and but so it was like in his way a little bit. So, so it was in my way. Or, oh, I no, see. So. because it's one of those big trucks that has the trailer hitches that come off like a foot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I feel really bad because he's like, oh, because I went over to Cam's house yesterday, and um, uh, he's like, oh, just park in the garage. Johnny's not home, so I go and park in the garage. And uh, when I park, I notice okay, they're hanging over a little bit, and they have a trailer hitch. Mental note: tell Cam. And so I, of course, forgot. And then we walk downstairs to leave at the same time because we're going over to Joe's to hang out. And before I could even say anything to jo- uh, Cam, the his neighbors were out by the car. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, mm, I've heard enough stories where there's no positive interaction I can have with these people. So he has to. I'm just going to slip in my car and slip out of there. And then as I'm leaving, I'm like, oh, I should have texted him or told him that. And then not even like 30 seconds later, I get a phone call. So guess who just hit their trailer hitch? I'm like, oh, no. So are they taking fault on that or uh, they did? I mean, luckily it hit my car in the part that's already totally fucked up from, okay. from yeah. everything else, but it broke a little piece of plastic off. Uh-huh. And I I'd, I'd not going to do anything because they're scary. Yeah. Luckily uh, it was only a fairing too. Scary? It was only the like a um, part of the fairing, so the, that's not bad. He's like he's been to county a bunch of times and he's like all tatted up. There was only there was only one What county? 
It's very specific. LA. Sonoma County. It makes, it makes a Sonoma. 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 Yeah. There's, there's only, dangerous. Yeah. There's only, I've seen this person. There's only one thing you need to know about them to understand who they are. White dude with dreads. They're not Jonathan they're not Davis. They're yeah, not, yeah. Yeah. Jonathan Davis. I would even say they're not even dreads. Good, like, yeah. they're, good connection. Yeah, they're yes. like cornrows. They're like braids. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah, are right. they like Ronda Rousey braids or like little uh, Romeo braids? Little what Romeo. They're like little Romeo braids, and he's got like a rebel flag tattoo on his ribs because he's always working on his truck outside. And I was just like, great. I'm not really going to talk to the uh, like Star Wars rebels. Okay, guys. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, you didn't specify. Uh, there's clarity a clarity on what's happening here. Yeah. <laughs> there are. I was, I was trying to get some mental picture. No, I was just trying to say that he was a white supremacist in like a, in a PC. That's not a rebel. Ask, but yeah. since you that's said not it. a rebel but, flag. He just loves the general league. But how, no, but but how can he be a white supremacist if he has hair? I, I thought they go hand in hand. Richard Spencer has hair. Oh, uh, that's a person. Uh, I hate Richard Spencer. He's yeah, always sitting too. in my seat. <laughs> I don't know who he is. <laughs> I have so many comments, and I'm just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Richard Spencer is like the the leader of the alt right right now. Yeah, but remember, the, I don't pay attention. All right, all, that is all right. <laughs> Are so the like, kids gonna be all right? <laughs> if no. you're having girl problems, I feel <laughs> bad for you, son. Everyone so, at wreck my podcast is a motherfucking one. <laughs> <laughs> so, scam. That is a bummer. I'm sorry that yeah, happened yeah. to you. That's that's a bummer. Yeah. Um, not on the level of kids starving in India. But that's what this, <laughs> se- that's what this that's segment's about. That's segment's about. You know, there's a hashtag. Yeah, hashtag oh, problems. Anyone else have a hashtag problem? I didn't really have one this week. This week's been pretty good for me. Um, I I kind of had some, but I kind of lost it. And then, like, I did get into, like, a tiff with my supervisor. So that was a, a huge annoyance. But was your the supervisor f- named Tiff? No. Hey, I was just thinking about making that joke. <laughs> no. um, See, Cam, it goes all the way around. <laughs> yeah, my, my supervisor just kind of, like, tried to start stuff with me. So I had to go to one of the higher-ups and be like, hey, he's trying to, like, Say stuff that really isn't what's going on. So yeah, I had to rectify the situation. Mm. Rectify. You had to rectify. Yep. Anytime I hear the word rectify, it reminds me of Tron. Oh yeah, I love that movie. Rectify. But I mean, like, so <laughs> I the higher up, luckily, like, kind of had my back, and so I also I'm like, I'm gonna change my attitude a little bit. You know, I've, yeah. I've noticed in the past, like, we higher or up so. had your back when you were rectifying a situation. That's <laughs> all it should be. Just clarifying what we what yeah. we heard. To yeah, yeah. Understand. Just in case yeah. we get called so, into court. <laughs> so after after my rectal check, um, we we got on the same level. And um, anyway, so, so yeah, your rectum's fine. Yeah, yeah, I don't have cancer. Okay, good. Yet. Question begs. <laughs> yeah. Think it's a good idea to go over the supervisor's head to go to their higher up? Yes. In this situation, yes. All right. Are they a listener? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> then by all means. <laughs> no, Say <yeah>. his name. <laughs> Polito. <laughs> <laughs> Is um, that his name? Yeah. That's a weird name. Espanol. Polito? Polito. Oh, Polito. Oh, he's got I, he's got little polio. Yeah, so. <laughs> I thought it was like with a B. I was like uh, Polito. No, um, like so, like I mean, I guess long story short, um, he, uh, you know, he he has a reputation for being kind of particular about his thing. He's been with the company for a while, so you know, he has somewhat antiquated ways, mm-hmm. and you know, just we differ on a few of our thought processes, and so there's a language barrier. So there's mm-hmm. a, always a little bit of miscommunication, and so there's some miscommunication going on and I just wanted to ensure that I wasn't going to get in trouble for that. So I talked to someone who had a little more authority and be like, Hey, this situation don't want to start anything, but this is what's going on. I was hoping we could fix this communication issue so we can have a more cohesive work environment. Yeah. And, um, it's looking like that's going to be the case. So yeah, things are looking more positive and I'm just going to try and have a more positive outlook and still try and be as kind of respectful to my supervisor as I possibly can. So there you go. Cause I am a good worker. Hashtag the more you know. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. Uh, so <clears throat> anytime I have a problem uh, in my work environment, I always go to my above my supervisors as well. And you sh- ask for allowance straight, straight to my <laughs> straight to my parents. Yeah. Oh, I do have like, actually to myself because I'm the only one who works in this office anymore. <laughs> I just sure. remember the real problem I wanted to bring. So I got a flu and tetanus shot. Uh huh. And, and I, I got the flu. No, and I, I, no. And I didn't get yeah, any freaking. I didn't. I didn't get any autisms. Like I thought I was gonna little uh, spell of autisms. Yeah. You know, more than one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and just like I'm fine. I am like it surprisingly makes you really sore. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those shots. Yeah. Well, especially the tet. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't I did that the last table. week. Especially the tetanus shot. That yeah. one. Like, yeah, I'm those still, yes, that one. Does. I got it on Thursday, and I'm still mm-hmm. like really sore. Yeah. Well, I mean, the key is, is like you just have to line up all the little squares, and then your pain will go away. They'll disappear. Ha <laughs> ha. 
with your Tetris. Tet- your, your Tetris shot. <laughs> oh God, that went right oh, yeah. over my head. Our guys were delayed playing, you guys, getting. You guys don't have to get the HPV virus shots, right? No, we don't it's have to just get us, that. Right? No, we yeah. just we just carry it. Yeah, we, we <laughs> have to get the shots for it. The Those human papillomas is a virus. Yes. Is that the one that says that you need to get it when you you're have like to get a teenager three of them or whatever? And, the girl, and they're those are the worst shots, like the yeah. most painful. So wait, shots so wait, wait, men can carry it, but they don't get shots. As Be- far, that's why I asked. I was like, I don't think you guys get shot. Because HPV it's just causes us. cervical cancer, which means oh, we're not okay. going to get it unless you have a cervix. <laughs> but if we can carry it, we're not going to get it. I hope you liked that shot. I hope it hurts. Get 10 more. I actually hate um, needles. What, what, ha- my sister Good. was saying that like the needle on the HPV shot is like yes, huge. Yes, and they hurt so much. It's terrible. You have to get three of them. Wait, you're telling me something for women's health is not designed to be easy for you to have? What? It has to be really <laughs> painful and terrifying? Look actually, how nice it yeah. is to get the female perspective on Wreck My Podcast. I know, That's right? Great. It is. Because if the, like, none of Obviously, us would have brought this up. my experience is every woman's experience. So. <laughs> I, I speak up for all of us. I, I will say, I have, as someone, one, who is has a very deep respect of needles um <laughs> like <your> heights. <laughs> yes um i had the most painful experience i uh, broke my nose and um when they went to re-break it they, they gave have, him an hpv vaccine <laughs> yeah, up my nose no um so oh they have they, they have to numb your nose and what that is is taking the syringe of you know um whatever they use to numb you and they stick it up both That's sides so of your nose and shoot you up and this is the most painful thing you know how sensitive it is up there i don't i don't it's actually. really sen- it's re- your nose is very sensitive oh, wow yeah. And it was one of the most painful experiences of my entire life. Yeah, that sounds awful. Well, it's also because like you can't move because you have a needle up your nose. What do you? What? Uh, we, me and Joe, <laughs> Joe and I were literally having a full-on conversation ourselves over here off mic, and we just came in and about a needle I mean, up I the had nose. A needle in my nose. When I when I had to get my nose rebroke, well, when they to don't fix worry, it. the the listeners heard it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, you. Um, thank you yes. i've been heard okay good <laughs> gregor has here been heard, heard you. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is just just, just wrap it oh, up oh yeah <laughs> we're uh, just going home right now yeah guys uh, <laughs> 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 just kidding we're not we're not done um psych psych uh so was i was the last time say, you said that word Psych, uh, probably the last time I sang the lyrics to that Bring Me the Horizon song where they go, Psych! Oh, more, more <laughs> things that no one cares about. You know, everyone used to say you got dusted back in the day. Like, it's coming back now, like, with the because whole- Because of Infinity War? Yeah, Infinity War. Yeah. I don't remember ever anyone I don't think I remember ever anybody said saying that. You got dusted. I've never said that. I've never heard it. Is it an Antelope Valley it. thing? I remember it, Gregor. <laughs> I do, actually. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's an Antelope Valley <laughs> thing. I mean, that's a thing you have in common, right? That's true. That's true. We spent that's some time how we, there. That's how we met. We were dusting people. We were dusting <laughs> people, which to me is a lot different. I, did, I literally and, and dusted. Happens, my I, OCD, and, I'm dusting people. And then people. as soon as you finish, like, dusted. Dusted. <laughs> and Joe just crop dusts people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Cam just has crops. I do. Yeah. I grow different things. Um, guys, they are tops. I was going to say, since you were talking about shots, I had to get uh, shots to see if I was allergic to anything on my back once, and it was 130 that they did five at a time. Wait, hold on, shots? They do oh, like no, squares, yeah. They do right? square so patches of like yeah. five at yeah, a time. Like a oh, my God. So at the beginning, you're like, that's not so bad because they start at the top of your back, but by the time they get to like the fattier areas on the lower part of your back, oh, God, that hurts. See, well, I had the same thing when I was younger, but they did like, they just like prick your back a little bit, a prick, and then they drop in the little piece of oh you know, no this yeah. was like oh, the allergy. yeah yeah the, the allergy. I, uh, yeah I'm, I'm growth hormone deficient so i was born without the ability to grow and um you, I, so you I, that that tall you over that six worked foot well for you, you. <laughs> what does that mean that means that uh <laughs> when i was diagnosed that i'm one of the first five kids they ever tried synthetic growth hormone on uh, okay it's oh. an injection so i had to take uh-huh. an injection every day of my life from when i was two until i was 22 dang wow yeah that's and insane. not, not kind of, uh, like in, in my back? in my abdomen and oh. thighs Ooh. and um i would get i used to give them to myself when i was a teenager but like i would have to get an injection every day and it was really rad they did this whole like scatter plot at ucla based on my family's lineage just to like hypothesize how tall i would be uh-huh and they're like oh he'll be about like i don't know like six two and uh, or six three like around there and then they gave me the dose that you're supposed to have as you're growing and i'm six three dang like they, wow. they figured out when i was two years old as that's much as so that's crazy. Crazy. as much as i hate needles i wish i could have had that well, I was just gonna <laughs> say, no because my that's dad a, that's my, a dad thing? Is, my dad is six four and i'm five eleven and bitter as hell but the thing is it's it was just replenishing the growth hormone yeah, that it, he would his body would have oh, made it won't make on you its grow. own it's okay. what he should have it's had. Maybe, it's what his body should have had to deficient. begin with. So you know all the stuff that uh, like uh, baseball players used to steroids. No, like when they're using HGH. Cocaine. When okay. they're using HGH. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, to rebuild their muscle or whatever. That's what they use. They they use synthetic growth hormone 
to uh, repair faster because that's how it'll work, but it won't make you actually physically grow taller. Yeah. I'm pretty sure adult. if I tried to take one of those synthetic growth hormones, it'd probably still give me acid reflux. It so moving, <laughs> 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 moving on. Yeah, moving on. Well, you we know what's have... something that I've always been interested in doing? Please but tell the, us. Cocaine. So, the needle was so just so uh, intimidating. Cocaine. Is, Heroin. Tattoo. No. Donating uh, bone marrow. Oh, Ooh, yeah. yeah, bone marrow's hard. That's just, I've heard that's just extremely painful. Yeah, yeah. it's like well, right in your spine. Not as painful <laughs> as leukemia. So everyone no, go that's to donate exactly. some bone that's marrow true. today. Exactly. Now I feel terrible. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I've always wanted to. It's just so intimidating. Yeah. yeah. On that note, uh, Patreon question. What's up, Wreck My Podcasters? It's your pal Ryan Buds from the Trivia with Buds podcast, and I just woke up, as you can tell from this video. I have a question for you this month. What's one thing that you always got confused as a kid in terms of uh, like phrases or uh, different um, quotes and things? I used to think an old wives tale was an old wise tale. I had no idea there were wives involved or what that meant. So I thought it was an old wise tale. I asked this question recently at a trivia night when a girl told me she thought that all massages were called hand jobs. So that was my favorite one I've ever heard. And uh, I'm wondering if you guys have any that you've heard or um, maybe just ones from your past or childhood that you got wrong. Let me know. Okay, so about the old wives' tale. Is it wives or wives? It's, it's wives, wives, like a wife. And so I always thought it was old wives' tale. And I, I thought, thought there's no way that wives <laughs> is a thing because that's so misogynistic and just uh, stupid. Do you know where we live? Hey, but here's the thing. I just thought, I thought there's no way where? that that's still a thing. <laughs> the world. Right? Yeah. Antelope Valley. <laughs> so one time I had people over at my house and someone said, oh, that's just an old wives' tale. And I'm usually – I present myself as a very knowledgeable person and very confident, and when I say something, I know it's true. I'm like, no, it's actually old wise tale. That, that's how you say it. And everyone in the room went, oh, okay, and believe me. And then I looked it up later, and it You're is wrong. old wives tale. Yep. And I was so 100% on board that it, there's no way it could be this thing that I'm like – I'm shocked that that's actually a saying. Hmm. You know one that I used to do? I'll let you guys get into it in a second, but I'll tell you the one. Dog – Doggy dog world. Oh, so doggy dog, dog e dog, dog world. world. I'm like yeah. a doggy dog world out there. <laughs> <laughs> rough, rough, rough. Doggy dog. What about you guys? You have any that were uh, any, any things you said wrong? I know for a fact there are at least like a couple, but I can't. I think I've I suppressed know. them so much. Like, or you just continue to say them even after you realize you're like I don't care. Things that anymore. like people get wrong regularly that mm-hmm. they say wrong or like ones I didn't even understand what they meant till I was way too old and should have already known mm-hmm. and was like, "Oh, I get it now. This is what this means." Like mm-hmm. certain sayings, but um I've always been relatively articulate and uh, just from a young age, like someone called me a midget when I was 2. Because I, I was just a top, very talkative kid. Yeah. And my dad was like, don't call my son a midget. And I was like, uh, wh- okay. Like, uh, that's a stupid story. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Go um, on. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> Someone <laughs> called me a midget <laughs> and I became articulate from there on. Yeah, yeah. The other day I was and eating. now a, I'm tall from my I was hormones. eating a ham and cheese. <laughs> yeah, the other day I was eating a ham and cheese. Um, no, but uh, I have a bunch of friends who have said things wrong that are my favorite. Yeah. Uh, you know the idiom... Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah. My friend thought it was gibbed. <laughs> G-I-B-B-E-D. Don't look that gibbed horse and in I the mouth. Like, and I was like, and I was arguing with her. I was like, no, it's a gift horse. And she was like, what the fuck is a gift horse? She, and I was like, what the fuck is gibbed? <laughs> yeah. <I was> like, <laughs> she, did, she obviously <laughs> didn't read ancient Trojan. Right. I mean, maybe <laughs> I could see like a, a, a gimped horse. <laughs> Don't look a gimped horse in the mouth yeah. because it might bite you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, that one—that one's my favorite. Still, is don't look a gibbed horse in the mouth. That's awesome. So here you go. Some of the commonly most misused phrases. Uh, first one being instead of using uh, intense and purposes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. People always say that's intensive purposes, and I'm yeah. like, it's intense and purposes. Yeah. Or, intensive. Um, Those purposes are really intense. <laughs> oh, I've, I to this day still say point intense. Point in case, case in point. Like case which way point, does it go? Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. Wait, hold on. How did that? How does the first one go? Intense and, and purposes. purposes. I've always said intensive. intensive. That's what everybody yeah. says. They say intensive purposes, but it's actually intense and purposes. Wow. Yeah. People spell a lot of things too wrong too. Like when they say wet my appetite, it's yeah. W H E T, like yeah. wet. Wheat. Uh, yeah, wheat. So one of them is instead of scapegoat, it's. An escape goat. An escape oh, goat. Like no. a goat's escaping. Oh, instead Here, of just, oh, that's funny. Quick, let this goat <laughs> be my escape. <laughs> ride goat, ride. <laughs> Go away. I would, I would, Get along. I would oh, pay yeah. so much money to watch Jordan ride a goat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can make it happen. <laughs> yeah. Patreon tier. Uh, or, <laughs> I'll leave this one. Uh, nipped it in the bud. Oh, yeah, people say nip oh, in the bud. Nipped it in the butt. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
Is that also too butt naked? It's buck naked. It's buck naked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not yeah. butt. But butt naked kind of makes sense because your butt's hanging out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then it's supposed to be hunger pangs. Yeah, not pangs. hunger pains. pains. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a with pang. A G? Oh. Yeah, what, what's a pang? Uh, it's um it's the it's the knockoff <laughs> version of that game pong from back uh, in the day. Pang, <laughs> pang. <laughs> it's two balls when you <laughs> hit a stick, <laughs> and every time you hit it, it goes pang. <laughs> Another one instead of biting my time, a lot of people will say biting. Really? Biting. Oh, yeah. Yep. Story of the year. Oh. <laughs> ASMR, ASMR. That was it. <laughs> we're trying. We're trying to get the younger audience yes, involved. Yes, that was ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> I hated all of that. <laughs> My neck is so stiff. <laughs> That's why kids like it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you uh, get a is that Viagra all of them? stuck in no, your throat? I'm not well, say we them won't all. go through all of them. One of the ones that I, another one I thought as a kid was slide of hand, I always said. Oh, instead of slide. slide. I thought they were like sliding things up and down, like, which is kind of what sleight of hand is sometimes. Is like, I don't know. So I always got that one wrong. I think it's a good question though, Ryan. Like. It's really making me think about all the things that piss me off when people talk. Yeah. And yeah. Ryan, yeah. next time you send us a video, could you please uh, freshen Comb- up a little bit after waking yeah. up? Comb yeah. your yeah. hair. He looks he exactly, looks exactly the same. Yeah. 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 Like, well, well, his hair is still like quaffed up. He's like, because yeah. you can tell. I'm like, I yeah. really can't. I mean, you can also as, see like the makeup I mean, no. his wife as he put on. Yeah. on his back so. porch, yeah. reading yeah. his, his newspaper, his drinking his coffee. And then he had to flip up. He had to flip up a little notification on his phone. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, Ryan's got a hard life, man. Just yeah, look at the gazebo home, in the back. Podcasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can see great. it in the front. You can see the gazebo. the gazebo. Oh, yeah, that That's gazebo. Nice. And a roll of paper towels. Uh, yeah. so <laughs> An almost gone roll of paper towels. Yeah, come on. Put those those, put those back. We're playing <laughs> shows. Baby like, <laughs> next time, don't choose a shirt that matches your cushions. Yeah. yeah. Ryan. <laughs> All right. Maybe it was St. Patrick's Day. All right. You guys ready for our next one? Yeah. So this is where I tell you guys something to ponder real quick. If there's a speed of sound and a speed of light, is there a speed of smell? The answer is yes. It's yes. three seconds from when I fart. Uh, <laughs> I, feel like, I think you've asked this before. Yeah, I was Did about, I ask that Yeah, one? I was yeah. about to say. You're like, this has been that a was, ponder question that, before. That might have been like the first or second. Congratulations, you guys passed the test. <laughs> 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 anyway, moving on from that. <laughs> I must have forgotten <laughs> to either delete it from my list or forgot to... to I added it, it twice or something. I don't know. Um, but hey, my fav- one of my favorite segments is coming up next. <laughs> Welcome to Uber Facts with Kreger, the segment where Kreger says some stuff, we say some stuff, and some stuff happens. Now here he is, take it away, Kreger. Hello, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, (laughs) boy. All right, so this is where I say some things, Jordan mocks me saying some things, and Cam doesn't say anything. Cam yeah. says a lot. I know. I and mean, then Joe just doesn't get involved in that at <laughs> <No>. all. <laughs> and we also have a days. A um, days. A days. Okay, so how this works is, so I days. will bring three factual facts from the Uberfacts website and one that I have altered to be unfactual, and you guys have to figure out which one is the incorrect one. Like two truths and a lie. We're yeah, usually Uber. pretty yeah, good at this, actually. It's three facts except and a lie. Last, except uh, for last week. We get, yeah, we do pretty well. Just beware. If there's He's a sneaky, he's sneaky. mom. He's <laughs> a sneaky <laughs> mom. Uh, so a he, yeah. Up. Okay, so first one we have in um, uh, Scotland, they accidentally legalized ecstasy, ketamine, crystal meth, and heroin for one day back in 2014. I believe no that. comments. <laughs> I, I, believe I, I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. Um, I believe that. In 1989, Forbes listed Pablo Escobar. As one of the richest men in the world, with a net worth of three billion, I believe mm, that. I could believe that too. He had his own island. Yeah, they have a small note that says his son said they were not even close to his true fortune. It's estimated that Escobar made sixty <laughs> million a day, <laughs> sixty million a day, um, in the peak of the nineteen eighties. Wow! 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 I want that much money. <laughs> yeah. Two <laughs> tablespoons of honey would give a bee enough energy to fly around the world. 
<laughs> Super B. <laughs> or it'll give Jordan enough energy <laughs> for 12 push ups. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And Cam for five? No, he's got that growth hormone. He's oh, be- yeah, he beats he me out. <laughs> I can't even do one. So. <laughs> oh, come on. You can lie. do one. No, lie. Yeah, don't you know. can. Lie. Can't do one. Um, Are you talking about eating ice cream, like those push-ups? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could, I, could do yeah. 30, I could do 38. I mean, doesn't <laughs> everyone have a bowl of ice cream, so when you go down, you're like... <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a push-pop? A, push yeah. no, a push-pop is the candy. Not yeah, ice cream, Joe. Oh, push up. Cream. You're right, you're yeah. right, you're right. I'm wrong. Don't, don't question me on okay. my snack. Okay, so <laughs> next your one. Ice cream. And last one. In Marvel's primary universe, Sir Isaac Newton was once Sorcerer Supreme. That is the same title held by Doctor Strange. I know which one's wrong. Oh man, I want that to be so bad. Uh, then you go. You last. know for sure which you one's go last. Wrong? Then can yeah, I'll go last. <sighs> hmm. What do you I guys think? I don't believe the B thing. I'm not into the B thing. I don't, I don't think know a bee could go around the world twice. And I twice? just feel Once? like if they could do that, they could just eat the own honey that they're creating. Yeah, I think the. I, I don't think, know. I don't believe the bee thing. Yeah, I think but the then bee you're thing's assuming dumb. that bees are incredibly ambitious and like want to Amelia Earhart the planet. Don't we all? No, just me. <laughs> me and the bees. <laughs> yeah, you and the bees. <laughs> me and the bees. <laughs> What year was the Pablo Escobar thing? Because I feel like a billion. <laughs> I feel like a billion is a lot for the eighties. Ni- in nineteen eighty-nine, or three point hey, something the year billion. Was born. Three, is a three billion. Lo- was three he in billion the 80s is or the a 70s? lot. He was in the eighties. It is the eighties, but that's still a lot. For I the believe 80s. it. No, I believe it. Hmm. I feel like begs would be changing numbers here. Yeah, that billion hmm. should be. You're right. You know what? I'm, I'm going the Escobar. Oh, you don't think the Marvel one? I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I think I think uh, Pablo Escobar. Yeah, I think he was worth two point eight billion. <laughs> Very specifically. I think Gregor fudged the numbers. Okay. And Cameron? you're going with bees, Des? Yeah. I'm going with the Scotland one because wasn't that Amsterdam? It was Ireland. Oh, Ireland. Oh, but I'm still yeah. right. Cam is right because same thing. He has had to do research <laughs> for drugs for work. Oh. For work. <laughs> so the mm, actual. Called experimenting. So Pablo Escobar really did have a net worth of $3 billion back in 1989. Dang. Which is probably not factually. Probably had lots more because he lost a lot, you know, and like he buried a lot of it. Yeah. Um, so the uh, one I made up was it's actually Ireland actually legalized ecstasy, ketamine, and crystal meth. Not also heroin. Um, back in 2015, for one day, accidentally, they, it was legal for one day. Nice. Yeah. How do you accidentally do that? Maybe if you like repeal some le- legislature or that labels things as class one. The drugs same and way make it, like, you accidentally tell all of Hawaii that they're going to die from yeah, a just nuclear like, bomb. A, a oh, human yeah. error. Outdated yeah. government things. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty much. I forgot what it is. that. Human error. Yeah. yeah. I forgot that happened too. too yeah, yeah. We're all waiting to see whether or not there's a boom in children being born nine months after. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, war games. <laughs> yeah. That was about a year ago, right? That was, yeah. About, about a year, year ago. ago. <laughs> okay. The setup. <laughs> While we haven't heard or seen it, there was something to perceive in the whole time that hype gave us something to believe. Although they chose to focus emphasis, we're forming a hypothesis, but all we really know is that we're stoned on this, stoned on this, stoked on this. Hello and welcome to Stoked on This. Uh, this is the part of the podcast where we talk about what we're excited for this week in pop culture. I'm making Cam go last because he needs to learn his patience because he says he has a big one. I do have a big one. And it's wow. That. It's That's not, what she said. <laughs> it's um, not that big. So, Joe, you want to go first? Des, you look terrified right now. Because I'm like, I don't know. What am I excited oh. for? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Joe, you want to go first or you don't have anything? Um, well, first thing that I'm excited for is Happy Star Wars Day, everyone. Yeah. No, yeah. May the 4th be with you. And also with you. And now people know <laughs> what day we recorded yeah. on. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. Uh, Des, we'll let you wait a little bit and think about it. I mean, it's probably just Game of Thrones. Yeah. yeah. Game of Thrones. That's like a thing. Speaking right? of, Amelia Clark saying that episode five is going to be the biggest mm-hmm. episode. So find the biggest yeah, thing you can't can find. They're wait. fighting pregnant lady and pirates. That's the rest of the series. Pre- they're fighting yeah. a pregnant lady and a bunch pirates. of pirates. Yeah. That's what Can't we're doing. wait to see that episode <laughs> in 12 <laughs> years when I decide to finally watch this series. Uh, Craig, <laughs> what are you? Are the so I am for. stoked on a few things. <laughs> yeah. um, one, I would like to say I am stoked on the fact that our fearless leader, Jordan, was on our good friend Jason Galbraith. Oh, yes, I was. The yeah. WTF yeah. Success yeah. podcast. Thank you for and, plugging that. And that has just released on, you said Podbean. Podbean right now. And they'll be on Apple soon. It's yes. a fairly new podcast. So that just released, and I am looking forward to listening to that as soon as possible. 
I sounded awesome. a lot more articulate than I thought I was going to because I remember not doing that well on it, but it actually sounded okay. No, yeah. It, I mean, like, I I also, he had me on it um, yeah. about mm-hmm. like, a couple weeks ago. And so that eventually About a out. couple weeks ago. Weeks ago. Weeks ago. <laughs> so, no. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> Thank you, but I'm very stoked to listen to that. And yeah. also, because I, I had a great time. Oh, I had a great time. It, Jason is super cool. All of them over at uh, Jason and Mindy and The Difference Between Us, they're great. Yeah. So. It was. I'm really stoked. So that's one thing I'm stoked on. Also, Endgame was so good. Yeah, go back and listen to our episode. Yeah, it yeah. was just. I did uh, today, it was and so all good. I want to do is talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Another. We'll hash- have a part two because oh. I watched it again part last night, two? for the second time. Oh. And so, and then I listened to the podcast today, and I was like, "Did so you good, watch, watch the me? same type of screening both times?" No, actually. Well, I don't know, because the first time I saw it was at the iPic, so I think everything there is fancy. Mm. That's true. Um, the iPic is so nice. The audience was different, though, yeah. last night compared to the, the one I saw at the iPic. Well, because everyone falls was... asleep at the iPic. <laughs> right. It wasn't as way yeah. as... Um, because I want to see it IMAX. Yeah. No, I haven't seen it IMAX. Yeah, I want to see it IMAX. That would be cool. Second yeah. 4D But vision. um, Yeah, so super stoked about that. Also, I found a uh, video on YouTube that explains certain things that people will miss. Like some of the stuff that we've talked about on the podcast, yes. they gave a lot of answers to, mm-hmm. which unfortunately I can't talk about those things because I don't want to risk any spoiling anything for anyone because we're That's still the right very... Choice. Yeah. The right choice. So, the yeah, choice. so I can talk to you guys about it off mic, but I'm very stoked about that. And just the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like they're... There's so many options. Oh, there's so much stuff there. so much to play with. And yeah. there's, there are certain, certain things that are, that are like very dudish that I'm really excited to see in the future. Dudish? Dudish? I feel attacked. Dude- big Lebowski? <laughs> dudish? Yes. Dudesh? The bi- there's, there's a big Lebowski factor I'm super excited to see in the future. Oh, okay. I get it. Like, I get like it. the dude is going to show up on... Yeah. Uh, in there, maybe and he's gonna be like if the, you do the another dude to buy. I feel like you should just stop talking because you don't understand what I'm talking about, and I don't want you to spoil anything for anyone. Okay. What do you mean the dude was already in it? Hey, he's in Iron Man One. Hey, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Cam. Wait, no, he was. Oh, <laughs> Cam, you're yeah. gonna have to wait for one more because I got something to talk about. Uh, <laughs> So, Detective Wait. Pikachu comes out Friday. Yes! Yeah, it does. Yes! Yeah, it does. Yes! That yes! wasn't what you were excited for, nope. right? now. Wait, yes! does that mean... Our next episode is going to be on Detective yes, Pikachu? Yes, it better yes! be. Yes! It is. Yeah. Uh, also, guys, you hear about the Sonic movie thing going on right yes. now? Oh, my God. He looks weird. That's actually one of my stoked ones. But uh, what's no, weird is wrong. the director, Jeff Fowler, just tweeted out that they're going to fix it. Good. He yeah. said, thank so you for bad. the support and the criticism. The message is loud and clear. You aren't happy with the design and you want changes. It's going to happen. Everyone at Paramount and Sega are fully committed to making this character the best he Good. can be. Here's the thing. You guys ever heard of Jeff Fowler before who's directing this movie? No. Nope. no. Yeah, you want to know why? Because Jeff Fowler hasn't had a actual credit since 2004 and he's never directed a movie. And in 2009, no, he's directed one short film in 2004. His last credit was in 2009 when he did animation and research development for Where the Wild Things Are. This guy literally has like four credits. So why did they pick him? Uh, People are thinking it's kind of a conspiracy thing where since the movie's probably going to do really bad, it was just someone to push the blame off on and just ruin a career and not have to worry about wrecking the thing. But now they're like, we're going to fix it. So I'm like, true, but all right, guy. I'm, I'm a little scared because... Uh, Jim Carrey, yeah. he's it, that, yeah. that didn't look too awesome. No. But also, uh, shout out, you know, James Marsden for always, you know, driving animated you know, characters be, around where they well, need to go. Yeah, you know, it'd be super cool though if they did with James Marsden is like the post credit teaser is he puts on the Cyclops glasses and it's a crossover between X Men and Sonic. <laughs> in. Yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah, how how do you cool. feel about a uh, a studio changing designs or? altering a movie based on social media or based on I'm all for it. I feel like they're going to get more of their audience if they do that. Yeah. Talking to that microphone again, Joe. Hello. Did anyone else hear like a robotic weird like No, I did not. Oh, okay. That was kind of strange. Hey, I feel like to your point, Joe, I feel like that's fine. I think they need to listen more actually. They want to make money from this movie. They absolutely yeah. well, need to. Also I mean, too, Disney kind of did that with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and exactly. rehiring. Um, exactly. There, there's that. And yeah. let's, yeah. yeah, let's be honest. Like, well, here's the thing because then it goes too far sometimes because then you have people where like everyone's complaining about The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi and stuff because no one can 
the, like when everyone agrees on something, yeah, everyone agrees. Sonic looks awful. Well, and I think it's an easier <sighs> fix, right? An animated yeah, fix is easier than character. pulling in like all the cast and being like, though. refill no, this was, whole scene. I don't know. Yeah. Like animation yeah. is expensive and sometimes it, yeah. can be lengthy. But you can do it because it's not a scheduling contest. Yeah, it's yeah, so all somebody stuff's has already to spend rendered. the time to the, do it. The one thing My, I have to say is as long as they never do a reshoot, like alter CGI thing like they did in Justice League with Superman. Oh, the, he had the CGI out his mustache. mustache. Yeah. It felt like in every freaking Here's scene. Here's my problem with the Sonic thing. All of it. If you're gonna <laughs> have a CGI character, why not make him look exactly like the CGI character he's based off yeah. of? <laughs> I don't you. get that. Yeah, I don't weird. get that one bit, what their thought yeah. process was. I think I think it's, it's someone trying to get too cute and creative and make it their own like oh i'm gonna make a statement this no. is my well, thing they're trying to make it's... him look more like an animal like a person animal yeah they're thing? trying to make him look like, like a, a, a relatable... real person well because they were going it's... for the furries well it's, well, it's because oh, you know nice. you know it's a good, it's a good yeah. demographic. because this is a non-fiction film so <laughs> yes this actually happened <laughs> it did uh so cam it's your turn now okay okay so... guys i haven't told you what are we Me coming and... back to detective pikachu <laughs> so no, i'm I really i'm really stoked on this so uh if you say it i'm gonna fight you <laughs> is it something that happened last night? No, because I told you what it was. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, That's, good. I have. What is it, Cam? I have a goldfish brain. I'm on the edge of my seat, but sitting on the back. Tremble. May fourth. Star Wars Day. Yes. Is now an official California holiday. It, wait, what? what? Yes. How did what? that happen? Because with um, Galaxy's Edge expected to bring in over 12.5 million dollars of revenue for the state of California every year. It got passed through the legislature. Oh my gosh! On March, on March, uh, when May third, to so be an official California holiday. That's insane. So uh, we have a day for nerds now, guys. If you work weekends, be sure your employers give you this day off. Yeah. <laughs> and when is Galaxy's Edge supposed to open? May thirty first. Yeah. First day people can go until June twenty fourth. You need reservations. After that, it's gonna be a cluster f. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I I, I yep. have a strong feeling I won't see it for a few years no me, yeah. me neither yeah. yeah i won't although have you guys seen the aerial shots yes i tagged uh, you in it yes oh wait hold on they're having little mermaid land yeah <laughs> <laughs> i've actually Ariel's taking really a bunch of shots for that i might actually be able to get to go i had a friend text me today who was like i have to tell you about i got like early entrance tickets i'm gonna tell you more information which makes me feel like that includes me she's right? either, like, she, she's <laughs> either she just wants to she's either share and she's either including you or being a real bitch she's a he <laughs> um but he. yes he <laughs> That's okay. So um, he's, he's being a he, real bitch. Yeah, he's you know what? Including uh, you, way, or he's being a real he's, bitch. No, the way he said it, it to me was like, "Is this an opportunity?" That because if I get pre-entrance tickets, like, of course yeah. I'm going to go do oh, that. Oh yeah, 100%. otherwise I'm going to wait five years to yeah, go because right? I'm not going to deal with it. But it's insane how good that Millennium Falcon looks just yes. sitting in that port. It just looks like the Falcon. Oh, uh, it looks like the Falcon. Mm -hmm. I want to touch the Falcon. You can. I want to kiss the Falcon. Me too. Yeah. I don't recommend it. Yeah. You want to put your penis in the Falcon? I'd do it. I want, no, I want the Falcon to you put his penis, penis in me. <laughs> uh, on that note... <laughs> It's your ham day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe, you want to explain what's going on here? Yeah, so this is our birthday segment. Um, basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to give some hints and clues to the celebrity birthdays that are happening this week to our guests here. And they have to tell me what the hints and clues have in common to that celebrity. Okay, Des, so you get to play this. Are you a little confused? You look confused. Yeah, so Okay, so okay. what I'm he's going to do. The person or the So the You're person, the person okay. it's okay. a celebrity okay. whose okay. birthday this week okay. coming up. So, okay. And he's so going like, to start example. with three clues, but you can chime in anytime you want. If I think of who it is, yes. can I so, chime in if I'm wrong? Yes. Like, well, if you're wrong, chiming? no. Once you say yours, everyone else has to be oh, able to say like one before you can say it again. Yeah. So you use your name to buzz in. Okay. And I'll give you an example. So if I were to say starred in Jurassic World, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Parks and Rec. Who would I be talking about? I can't tell you his name because I don't know his name because I'm the Chris worst. Pratt. There you go. That would be correct. Yeah. That guy's name. And you buzz I in with I your name. I can picture him, but I don't know. Yeah. So and that's so basically how it works. Here's okay. here's what I'm going to say, though. If Dez gets last place, you don't need to bring beer next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dez, if you get last place, I will bring beer next week. Oh, okay. 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 I'll just so not guys. answer, guys. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 I don't know. All right. Sounds good. I like that. I'm just here for the beer. All right. Number one. He's a singer. He's known for songs like Look At Me Now, Craig. Run It, and Loyal. Jordan. 
Um, Wiz Khalifa? Incorrect. Oh. Desiree. Chris Brown. Jordan, that is correct. Damn it. Yes. Mm. My third hint for that was he's a piece of shit known for beating Rihanna. <laughs> 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 nice, nice. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and he will be thirty. Oh, yeah. he's my age. What? Yeah. Yep. Damn. Next person. He's a singer from Spain, known for songs like "I Like It." Craig, Jordan. Craig. Craig, you were first. I'm um, Enrique Iglesias. Mm. That is correct. Enrique I saw him. Iglesias will be forty-four. I saw him at a restaurant in Miami a while ago. Did you say hi? No, I took a picture of him though. <laughs> 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 sounds sounds accurate. Yeah, because yeah. they love when you. Do yeah, that. exactly right. <laughs> Number three, ER. Craiger. George Clooney. Correct. Oh. Yes. Wow. George Clooney will be 58. Dang. Number four, Uptown Girl. Craiger. Oh, I lost it. Um, I'll just say, say um, Megan. Oh, Desiree. Uh, Megan Trainer. That is incorrect. Desiree, do you have Billy an Joel. Billy Joel is correct. Wow. Billy Joel will be 70. This is the worst I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're at zero. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, Boy Meets World. Trigger. There's a million people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the actor's name. <laughs> because there's like 12. Plays with squirrels. Incorrect. Hey, Nick. Girl Meets World. Jordan. Uh, is it Ben Savage? Incorrect. Oh. Because everyone's on both those. Yeah. Topanga. Yeah. 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 Oh. I don't know. <laughs> say I your name again. Name. No, because everyone else has to go. You can still say your name so you can. Well, Cam does. You guys have I don't know her. Guesses? I mean, I don't know. Cam. Jordan. Cam. Danielle. Topanga. <laughs> <laughs> Cam, I'll give it to you. Okay, Danielle, Danielle Fischel. Fischel. Okay. And Fischel. she will be 38. Oh. oh. She's still looking great. Yeah. <laughs> everyone's like, wow. Crush back then. <laughs> yeah, everyone had a crush. Oh on man, Topanga. everyone loves Topanga. Number six, the New Orleans Pelicans. Cam, Anthony Davis. Incorrect. Oh. Mm -hmm. Los I... Angeles Clippers. And the Houston Rockets. Cam, they can't get it. Um, so you said that it is um... Jordan. Uh, <laughs> Pelicans, Clippers, Rockets. <laughs> Pelicans, Curry, Clippers, Steph Rockets. Curry, incorrect. <laughs> Pelicans, That's the only guy I knew. Uh, yeah, I, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know anymore. I think he's on the Warriors right now. I don't know where Craig, he's at. Do you have a guess? Pelicans, Clippers, Rockets. Oh, I got it. Um, Chris, Paul, Craig or Chris Paul. That is correct. No, oh, he took so long. I know. I, I, I'm. Yeah, I that I did take a very long time. He took so long, and <laughs> I knew it after he said Clippers. Well, that, that's why you shouldn't prematurely. Daniel, shut up, Joe. Well, Jordan. Jordan. Then, I think we should come up with a rule. So nope. We... Keep going. Chris <laughs> Paul will be thirty-four. Number seven, the Heisman Trophy winner from Auburn. Craiger, Cam Newton. That is correct. Ooh. Sports. <laughs> Guys, Craiger has four, and the rest of us have one apiece. <laughs> Cam Killing Newton him. will be thirty. Hmm. Number eight. All that. SNL. Jordan. Okay, I've got it. Keenan Thompson. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Keenan Thompson will be 41. Number nine, he's an American singer and songwriter known for songs such as Party Hard and Party Till We Die. Cam, Andrew WK. That is correct. Oh, that's right. <laughs> no, when it's time to party, we will party hard. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Andrew WK will be 40. Uh, number 10. Dancing with the Stars, America's Funniest Home Videos. Cam, Tom Bergeron. That is correct as well. Tom Bergeron will be 64. So, Craiger, Craiger and Cam are tied four at the top, and Dez and I are tied one at the bottom, which means me and her have to go head-to-head -head now to see who gets last place. Ugh. Oh, so we don't – oh, so the last place is La more Because it's last place, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so here's the hard part. I don't think either of you are going to get this. Great. <laughs> oh, okay, Which let's is funny try. because <laughs> the two, these two would get it. Well, let's try it. Great. All right. Number one overall pick in the 2005 NFL draft. Went to college at Utah. Has been the quarterback for the Rager. Washington Redskins. Jordan. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, it, is his last name, is he Kurt? Kurt's in it or something? Kurt Wagner. <laughs> <laughs> that is, Nightcrawler is not the right I think, answer. I think both and I know this. Yeah, yeah, we both know this. Yeah. 
Des, do you have an answer? I don't even can have we, like an I educated think, guess. Can we have like a? What is there, I want to phone a friend. Uh, is there like another initials, initials are A S. All shit. <laughs> <laughs> he has Sackling. two first names. Like his last name is also a Jordan a, Andrew Smith. <laughs> Alan Smith. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is Alex, Alex Smith. Smith. <laughs> uh, do you have another question? Like something like maybe not a birthday question, but just a question. Um, I got to be honest. Did looking at the year? birthday people was for this week was difficult because I was like, I yeah, trying to find Who are people. These people. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me yeah. see if I can give you one more person that so may or may not be alive. Um, uh, mm. nope. I got nothing. <laughs> um, guys, do you have a random question just to throw out there? You host trivia, Cam. Do you have a random question just in your brain? Random. 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 Well, All right, question. Uh, I have one. Yeah. yeah. Is a hamburger a sandwich? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation. Uh, 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 what year did Empire Strikes Back come out? Jordan. That was cheap. They're both wearing Star Wars That's shirts, and it's Star Wars Day. It's true. It's true. It's fair. I'm second-guessing myself now. Ooh. 1980. Ooh, I don't think that's <laughs> it's right, either 1979 actually. or 1980. I was gonna say 81, but it is 1980. Okay, okay. Oh. And, and on that note, that means Joe's bringing beer. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm so okay. sorry. Can okay. we, can we have R.I.P. for? Now, can we have a Mayhew? moment of silence for yeah. um, Chewbacca? All right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dead air. That's what. All right. <laughs> yeah. All great right. podcast. Uh, so I'm bringing beer next week, and I so can guarantee you it's not going to be a sour. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a Joe's win-win. no sour. Um, okay, cool. Uh, I have a random question for you guys that I actually just switched up on the fly right now because it came into my brain because uh, my wife asked it to me, and you, Des, you brought up Game of Thrones. And so what do you think is better, Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings? Because I'm watching Lord of the Rings. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. You all suck. Much more character <laughs> development. Thrones. Lord of the Rings is ten times better. It's the OG. No. You haven't watched Game of Thrones. You Game of Thrones that. is better. Can't say that. So much more. What do you happens. think, Cam? You know what? I, I honestly can't pick between the two. I can't. They're both completely. And you don't. They're does Game of Thrones different. have an end? You know what? You don't. You know. I didn't think so. <laughs> no, no but, hey, but we have. You dragons. know what? So does get those are Lord of the Rings. What do you think the Ring because Raids? What do you think the, the Nazgul is? They should have just gone on the outside and flown the whole way instead of walking. But they were like, guys, no, we'll get off here. No. Guys, However, my favorite guys. theory is Gandalf. <laughs> saying that that was the plan the whole time, which is why when he falls into that pit, he says, fly, you fools. Mm-hmm. He's like, I told you what to do. <laughs> I just we, feel like we could have skipped a lot of the problems that happened if we just kept flying. We really don't have to fight. You get Sean Bean either way. That's yeah. true. Mm-hmm. You do get Mr. Bean. I <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bean. Uh, yeah, I think it's just because I don't like game, or I haven't watched it yeah. and don't care why to that I like. Why? Because it just looks why? so boring to me. Like, it looks like, it here's not. the problem. The thing I hate is I'm like, there's a million characters that I have to keep track of that there's I just don't really care about. a million characters in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, but I care about them. <laughs> you will care know? about these ones, too. Yes. Don't do it, because they'll hurt you. But well, it's fine. I feel like <laughs> they'll I, hurt you. I feel it's like true, I will. wouldn't. The show hurts. I feel like I wouldn't care about that. I don't know. Because you guys know, medieval's not my thing. So the fact that I even like Lord of the Rings as much as I do is like. I was like, say, uh, but you like Lord of the yeah, Rings? Yeah, that's like a miracle in and of itself that I actually find something interesting about, about Lord of the Rings. So I. I feel like I should uh, ask my friend Maddie, who I've been talking to. Lord of the Rings is her fandom, but she also likes Game of Thrones. I want to yeah. see what she thinks. I'd be curious to find because out. Yeah. For me, I just think they're both fun. Like yeah, I, I can't pick. Yeah. Y'all. Hey, Robbie, uh, you always put stuff in the co- in the comments. Yeah. What do you think? Game yeah. of Thrones or <laughs> Lord of Rings? Tell us what you think, Wobby Wob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, oh my gosh! In the Patreon episode, I loved it when you put. What about second breakfast? <laughs> oh yes, I know. <laughs> By the way, I had no idea that bare naked ladies ripped off Chitty Chitty Bang Bang in their music video. Yes, I did not expect them I... to look that way either. I didn't actually know what that music video was going to be, and I just put it in there because we were singing that song so much. That's a bold move. Cotton. It is a bold move. Uh, and you did say Eric, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. I saw that totally. Eric. I was talking to Cam about that. I'm like, how that even – I must have like tried to say a different word, and it came out yeah, Eric. Because you said Cam, Eric. Eric. <laughs> yeah, I love when you cut it. It was just like – Eric. And I love how you were like, did you even – did you say Eric? And he was like, no. 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 I said, oh, dude, you should have you put a picture of Eric Foreman with – Guilty oh, on his forehead from that would have been perfect. Yeah, yeah I, I missed that spot. <laughs> missed it. You can put it up right now. Now, uh, okay. So, uh, Cam, you're bringing trivia this week, right? Craiger is. <laughs> yeah, Cam used the money I, in the I bank. I said I looked at Craiger. Yeah. Cam, uh, but Eric. <laughs> Eric. Yeah. yeah.
we have the undisputed champion in the house right now. I'm disputing it. You're disputing it? Disputed. <laughs> <laughs> and Cam last week, in a turn of events, cashed in the money in the bank and said, Gregor, I want you to use Disneyland trivia. Yeah, yeah. So, Des, oh, you wait. get to okay. play. I okay. thought it, I thought it was right, California right, Adventure right. trivia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you win... You get the belt. You get the belt. And yes. I don't know how you're going to defend that forever. thing. Uh, you're going to have to defend it every Wednesday night at Trivia at Pocock Brewing Company in Valencia, <laughs> California. <laughs> she's going to hire a bodyguard. I mean, yeah. we do win regularly. You so. do. Shots wow. fired. Hey, mm, who that's, won last okay. week? That's not who, even a shot fired. Us. I not specifically yeah. even said to you guys, you win every week. I'm surprised we won this week. <laughs> did you say you win last week and you weren't even there? We did have a lot of people. I was proxy. Yeah, we had a ton of people this week. Did we really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Both of you weren't there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was a ton. I, was, I, was, like... I was on a date, and he was doing stuff. Andy came. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> Chelsea came. Kyle came. Uh, Wendy when, came. When my other roommate. Your roommate came. Cam came. Cam, Cam Ryan came. Was yeah, Ryan was there. <laughs> yeah, so we had a good team. It was good. Nice. All right, Cam. Uh, Oh, here. Right here. Do we, we need our buzzers? Do, we, guys, do we need name tags? Can you guys just switch your <laughs> yeah, names for me? That'd be great. Do we need name tags? Yeah, switch your names for me. All right. Yeah, it's the same thing. Your name is your buzzer. It's the same thing, Des. Oh, just, yeah. and once you've given an answer, you can't answer. And if everyone has gone and their an correct answer was It goes to the asker. Yeah. But so also, we have Craig four win. people. So theoretically. You should get the right answer. Yeah, because it is multiple Theoretically, I'm not going to get a point. Yeah. All right. Okay, so first off, I'd like to say, so I was talking to one of my close family friends. She's a huge Disney fanatic. Um, she actually is Elsa at California Adventure in the oh, show cool. that, oh, that's they, cool. that they put on. And uh, I was like, uh, she was talking to me, and I told her I was like coming up with trivia. She's like, oh, I have this one that I really love. So I just thought I'd share that because she uh, shouted out. So shout out to uh, Chelsea. She said, "Hey um, Chelsea, yeah, hey Chelsea." Um, she said, "Sleeping Beauty's castle is modeled after I can't pronounce that." <laughs> um, Norwegian in Germany, right? Austria. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, it's a, it's a <laughs> castle in um, Point Jordan, <laughs> Bavaria. Never yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it, it's modeled after a castle in Bavaria, Germany. However, the true front of the castle is actually the backside of Sleeping Beauty's castle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my parents have been to that castle before. Yeah. Just, uh, Walt Disney just liked it that way better, so that's how he put it. Yeah. And on that note, we will get started. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Narf Lush Lushling. <laughs> Narf Lush Lushling Castle. Narf Lush Lushling I mean, it's in, like in, in Austria, Germany. In Austria, Germany. Said. I said Germany or Austria. No, I, okay. I didn't know which one. I forgot where he was okay. from. Okay. So, first question. In which city did Walt Disney originally intend Joe. to build Disneyland? At? Jordan. Joe. Burbank. California. That is correct. Yep. Good job. Yeah, you, Joe, Cam, and okay, Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I doing? <laughs> we all get a point. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. okay. Question two: What is the Matterhorn's abominable Cam. sea Joe. monster's name? Harold. Damn, he's right. It is Harold. Mm -hmm. you guys, Why do you guys know this? I'm so <laughs> glad I'm hosting and not participating because I would yeah. get swept. Because we are ridiculous. Okay. Jordan, you sounded very confident last week, and you're already. Well, it's just because I've been waiting for you to <laughs> ask the question. I know so. we're not even through. Yeah. It. Oh. Well, once you, once once you, you know could it. have asked when you said abominable, you could have asked how many. I, that's are what there. I thought he was going to oh, ask. You know, that's that's a good point. But I know that one. Yeah. Well, I guess but he would have started yeah. with how many. Okay. Go to okay. the next oh, okay. question. <laughs> how many babies have been born Cam. inside of Disneyland? Two. Cam. Wrong. Oh shit. I'm not. I'm waiting for the multiple yeah. choice. <laughs> All right. A. We have four. B, we have 26. Who's we? <laughs> <laughs> He's fathered a lot. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> so C. C, none, or D, 18. Uh, Jordan, I'm going to say none because they take him out before they can be born. Wrong. Uh, Joe. Yes. I'm going to go with 18. Incorrect. So you have four or 26. Gregor can get a point here. Four. Correct. Yes! Oh yeah. Death's you know what? On the board. I thought it was going to be a it. thing like how no deaths have actually occurred that at a Disney park because they I don't thinking, say time no, of death. That was a after that was you said it first. So yeah. That was a, that was a good strategy. I yeah. was in the same um, boat as you. All right. Question number four. How much was the original cost of a Disneyland ticket? Cam. Cameron. Opening day, one dollar. That is correct. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Okay. Guys, I have zero points. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. Before the park was built, what existed on the Disneyland Cam. lot? Cameron. Uh, Orange Groves. Correct. Mm -hmm. That one I did know. Uh-oh. 
Because he's keeping out the hand. Well, he, it was his money in yep. the bank. Yeah. The, the legally gained money. <laughs> <laughs> um, number six. How many ghosts are in the haunted mansion? Cam, I know this. It's at 999 with room for one more. <laughs> It just says nine ninety nine, so yeah, yes. right out of the way. You know it's what? what the... That's hard because I was thinking, should I count how many we see, or <laughs> in the <Yeah>. song? <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, number Very seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of no ghost. What is buried inside Sleeping Beauty's castle? Cam. Cam. Oh shit! Is it the time capsule from ninety five? It just says time capsule. Oh, oh my wow! God. wow. Jeez, he's running away with me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. How many attractions are currently inside Disneyland? Currently? Currently. Does that count Star Wars? Does that count Open California ones? Adventure? It just, says Disneyland. Disneyland. it just says Disneyland. I just did Disneyland trivia. Yeah, are you going to give us a multiple choice? Yes. A, 49. B, 69. <laughs> <laughs> C, 55. 55! And D, 62. Joe, 49. Jordan. Joe is correct. Yeah, it's 49. Yeah, I just buddy. want a point. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trolling? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jordan has to do the next podcast. On <laughs> <the table. laughs> <laughs> Number nine. How long did it take to construct Disneyland? A, 18 months. B, one year. C, three years. D, five Jordan. years. Jordan. Three years. Incorrect. Cam, 18 months? Incorrect. Joe, one year. Correct. Wow. That's fast. That is fast. But it was way smaller than it is now. Yeah. What question are we about, on? Like, the opening. Question Last number question. 10. Damn. Oh, it's so dead. Which of these words doesn't belong in this statement? Here you leave today and enter the world of blank, blank, and blank. So you're looking for the word that does not belong. A, we have fantasy. B, we have magic. C, we have tomorrow. And D, we have yesterday. Cam. Desiree. Cam. Magic. Correct. Mm. I knew that one. For funsies, do you want to hear my uh, yes. bonus questions? Yes. Okay. How many attractions were there on opening Joe. day, Joe? 18. Correct. <laughs> 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 Let's just get it out of the way now. <laughs> Coin. Operated boy. Sitting on the shelf. So Cam has won the title back. I, I, I got zero points, which is wreck my podcast first, which means I get the cock. <laughs> <laughs> on a Disneyland trivia, On a Disneyland too. trivia. Goodbye, my sweet prince. Thank you, Robbie and Lauren. I was, I was pretty much saying how well I was going to do on Disneyland trivia, but these were like majority of questions yeah. I never really I stared got. the scat man in the face tonight, and the coin-operated boy put out the classic Disneyland two-fingered point. Point? Point. <laughs> And decided that I'm gonna add a trigger to this and take you down. I gotta say, <laughs> I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. He went through all that and did not get any scat in his face. Nope, I did not <laughs> scat him. I'm keeping my scat for myself. It feels so good for it to be home. Like I know it's like a d- I, d- well, plastic, will, but it's on my body. I will have to say, as much as it pains me to say this, it is. He did give the example of how you should properly use the money in the bank because he just yes. ran away with the top. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you did it well. You did not. Baron Corbin it I at did, all. I did not. Nope. Okay, guys. Uh, so that's that's our thing. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I really messed that up. <laughs> really badly messed up that. Let's try it again. It's a lot of bass lines. <laughs> you can find us on Instagram and Twitter <laughs> at WreckMyPodcast or email us at WreckMyPodcast at gmail.com. We're on all major podcasting apps and YouTube, so go check us out there. Rate, review, and subscribe. It really helps us out. If you want to support us, go to our Patreon. Uh, just do one of those tiers. Yeah, do the Patreon thing. Everyone <laughs> knows what that is. Uh, we got a bunch of great patrons. Also, you can check out our Redbubble by going to WreckMyPodcast.com and clicking the Shop Our Merch tab. Uh, thank you to Ben from Petrified Gumbo Music for the stoked on this song. Uh, go to PetrifiedGumboMusic.com if you need some compositions done. Great guy. We have episodes themed on specific topics coming out every Wednesday. This week, it's the new Twilight Zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be really good. Every Mondays, we have a show just like this. So come back next Monday and hear us be ridiculous. Thank you to my guests for being here. Thank you, Des, for thank you, being, guys. being thank a you, special Des. guest over here. 
And finally, and you guys, yeah, you show here every week. Uh, and finally, <laughs> thank you for listening, because without you, we would be like a tree falling in the forest with no one to hear us make a sound. Goodbye. Bye, I love you. I like you and I love you. Bye, I really appreciate all of you. I don't have anything good. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>